Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you a GPS speedometer for your iPhone. So, what this does is basically, it's a GPS speedometer. So, what that means is, when you're moving, when the signal comes out to the satellite, it bounces back. However fast it's bouncing, the signal is bouncing, you're going to read miles per hour. I am in the U.S., that's why it's miles per hour. Uh, if you're over in Europe, it is kilometers an hour. So, you over on the right-hand side, you have a compass. Excuse me, left-hand side, you have a compass. Uh, I could turn it to kilometers an hour, and I'll push that, and it does that. I push it again. So you can do that. Uh, you could change the color of it to match your needs. Blue is my favorite color, so I'm going to leave it as blue. GPS 18 feet, and it has the weather. It has the roads, it has the altitude, it has the average, it has the time, and it has the duration of your trip. And this thing is so sensitive, I, uh, it's re literally reading my heartbeat. That's why it's moving up and down. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to walk, and you're going to see it move. So what I'm doing here is I am going to walk and it's reading it. Now if I stand still it'll go back to zero. So now it's reading that when I speak it's reading the uh, vibration of my voice. That's how sensitive this thing is, which is really good because you're going to get an extremely accurate uh, thing you could do. So, weather doesn't do anything when you click it, and I could reset it. So, there you go. So, this app is both kilometers an hour and miles per hour. That's how you get it. So I'm going to turn the phone up this way. I'm going to get out of it. We are going to go to the Apple Store here. And you type a GPS speedometer. Now, turn it this way. Uh, it doesn't like to do that. There's multiple speedometers you can get. I like the one that I have because it gives you detailed information. Now, there is this one. That's kind of got a cool futuristic look. So you push get. And now it's downloading. So it shouldn't take long. I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. So it shouldn't take long. All right. So we're going to open it up. Right. I'm going to turn the phone this way. And this is also very, very sensitive. So the other one that I have on there, on here, has a little more information, like roads, windy roads, incline, and stuff like that. This also has a compass. So if you go to settings, this one has like a pro mode go like that okay sorry about that an ad showed up I don't know why that happened so I change the color go to settings I could do miles per hour or kilometers per hour.
And there we go. Now this one I'm not liking because there is ads that pop up every time you change an option. I like the other one better because you can change the option and you'll just be fine. So I'm moving back and forth and it's reading my speed, which is good. And same thing, the signal is going from my phone to a satellite and back down and that's how it's reading your speed. Now, with the GPS speedometer, there are companies that make GPS speedometers that will for your car's dashboard. Uh, I want to say Dakota Digital makes those. Um, they also make the regular ones. And what they do, what those do, the regular ones do, is your car has a signal pulse that it reads and that's how you get your speed. GPS speedometers send the signal out and how fast it bounced back. So it's kind of sort of the same thing, but there is differences. So with that said, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click that bell for more notifications.